Hey there, thanks for joining me today. This is Laura Lynn with Keep Inking Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And today I wanted to go over the Savings Are in Bloom promotion that we have going on right now during the month of March 2022. And I wanted to share with you um, this, this promotion because I think it's just fabulous. I, I love savings. I don't know who doesn't like savings. So during March, you can order the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine at a 20% savings. So you're only going to pay $48 for the mini machine. I didn't have one yet. And so I took the opportunity to um, purchase one on the 1st of March. I ordered mine right away. Also part of this sale is our 13 other, um, bundles that work in the mini, um, emboss machine. So all of the dies in these bundles will fit in this mini machine. You don't have to use the big machine. So the all squared away is one and there are others on this second page here. Um, I'm going to be using the all uh, the art gallery bundle today and some tips that I wanted to share with you. But I want you to notice that the art gallery bundle, the celebrate sunflowers bundle, and the garden wishes bundles are three bundles that are returning. In other words, that they are not bundles that are currently offered. Whenever you have a SIA bundle in our catalogs, they are offered at a 10% savings over purchasing those items individually, whether they are a stamp set and punch bundle or a stamp set and die set, a stamp set and die set bundle. You always save 10%. So these prices that are crossed out are the 10% savings that you already get when you order them um, as a bundle. Um, but like I said, these three bundles, you cannot do that. They are not offered as bundles right now. So for those three bundles, um, after month of March, you can only order them individually and you will not have any savings um, versus buying them uh, as a bundle. The other bundles on this list are still will still be available as bundles at the regular 10% savings, but right now they are 20% savings off of that. So it's an additional 20% savings. I hope I'm making sense with all that. The bottom line is it's a great sale. I hope you take advantage of it. 20% is a significant savings, um, and you can order all of these through the end of March. And it's the same item numbers. They just will show uh, discounted in your cart when you go to order. And I would be thrilled if you would order through me. And you can um, find my shop at um, Keep Inking Up. It's actually, um, uh, yeah. Anyway, you can find a link there on my blog at, at Keep www.keepinkingup.com. Okay, so anyway, I, like I said, I did go ahead and order the mini machine myself. I did not have one until until just a few days ago because I ordered it on March 1st. So I did want to mention a few things. First of all, so far I really love it. I haven't had a lot of play with it so far um, so I haven't had it very long, but so far I really like it because it is really lightweight. Let me go ahead and roll these out. It folds up these little plates loud fold up and so this is just the cutest little machine it's really lightweight I, I think they said it weighs three pounds I haven't weighed it so I don't know but it's really lightweight so it's easy to carry around so you can move it around really easily my other normal size um, machine does uh, just kind of park itself on my table I don't move it in for videos because it's too heavy um, anyway one thing that I did want to share about this what I learned in using it is I was having a hard time getting it going so what I discovered is and and you'll You'll receive all of these plates with the machine when you get it. You'll get all the all of the plates that you need to do any cutting or embossing with it. But what I noticed is I needed to offset my plates a little bit in order to get them to run through. And it is lightweight, so it does kind of move around on your table. But see how that, that rolled in really easily? That's because they were offset. When I first got it, I started with them all flush together at the front. Let me roll this back out. When I first started, I tried to um, put the put these through the machine with all of these flush, and I just couldn't get it to go. I just I just couldn't get it to go. So what I discovered, and that's why I wanted to share with you, is if you offset them just a little bit, then they will roll th roll through your machine quite easily. I hope that that makes sense. It's just something that I discovered. I don't know if it's just me not using it right or what, but um, it, I've used it that way and it worked out great. So anyway. I wanted to share that, but what more importantly, I wanted to share a tip using the art gallery bundle. So this is a set of beautiful floral stamps with a lot of really good um, sentiments, and then it's coordinating um, set of dies. Oh, I don't have them all here because I have I've been I've been cutting. And also, I wanted to share with you what I do is I I save all of my. Um, leftover uh, die cuts that have been stamped or just cut out 
in a clear envelope in my stamp case in case I want to use them on any future project. But what I wanted to share was um, using the Stamparatus with this particular stamp set because I think it's so handy. So let me put that out of the way. I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. Now I've been playing with these, so I've been I've done a little bit of work ahead of time. Let me see. So oh, I've shared this tip before, but what I did is I took my cute little mini machine and I used my two dies, the big flower die and the leaf die, and I just cut um, several leaves, leaf um, dies, and some flower dies. I, I, right now I just have four. But um, anyway, uh, I just cut a bunch of them out just to save some time. And now I'm going to, oh, they're stuck together. Uh, I'm going to use my Stamparatus. I'm going to use both plates, and I've already placed all of the images for the flower and the, the um, leaves on my Stamparatus. Let's see if I can get this in, in play here. Um, okay, so what I have in here in my Stamparatus... Also, because this is photopolymer, I have the deluxe foam mat. If you follow me, you know that I use this foam mat in my Stamparatus and not in my Stamparatus, just for whenever I'm using photopolymer stamps. And I have a template here that I created when I placed the, all of the images on my clear plates. So that's my template that I'm going to save in here. And I'm going to go ahead and slide this up into here and put my magnet on, and I'm going to start um, with my leaf image. So I'm going to stamp my leaf image in Old Olive. Slide that open. And ink that up. And, oops, I need to put in one of my pieces. I was going to stamp just the thing. That, was, that would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? So I'm going to slide in one of my die cuts that I said that I just cut with my mini machine. Slide it in there like a puzzle. Make it fit properly, Laura. What are you doing? Okay. And now I can stamp it. So I'm going to swing it over and press it down. And there I have my leaf image nicely stamped. Now, like I said, I've used all four of my, or all four surfaces of the two plates that come with the Stamparatus. I'm going to swing this one around. So now I can start inking up my flower. So I'm gonna make sure again this is in the corner. I need to grab one of my um, flower die cuts, slide that in like a puzzle, and I'm going to ink up the first image, which is the um, more solid flower in the stamp set. And I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight on this. This is not a color combination I've tried before, so we're gonna see how it goes. So this is Daffodil Delight, which is a light yellow. So I'm going to ink up that. I'm going to go ahead and close up these ink pads because you know me, I might get my finger in there and get ink where I don't want it. Okay, so now I can swing this one over and stamp that down. That looks lovely. Looks like I may have missed a spot there, but that's okay because I, this is just um, one of the layers. Now I'm going to stick my other plate that I already have on here, and this has the more detailed image on it. And you know what? Before I stick it up there, I'm going to ink this one up in Crushed Curry because that's a little bit darker yellow than the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to ink that up. Then I'll slide that in there and stamp that down right on top. And hopefully you can see right there the two different colors of yellow. So it's a really pretty flower. So I can close up the crushed curry ink. Then I'm going to flip this one over. And I've got the little tiny um, center of the flower. This is kind of awkward because I have my um, camera stand here, so it's awkward for me to to be doing the Stamparatus on this particular side. So I'm gonna ink that up in pumpkin pie, and then I'm going to stamp that down into the center of my flower. And I think I want that a little bit darker. So I'm gonna ink that up again. 
I can because of the Stamparatus. I'll slide that back in and stamp it down. So that makes it just a little bit darker. So now I've got these two pieces ready to go for a card. So what I did is I used this template and all of these images and just stamped and stamped and stamped and I made a bunch of flowers so I, I made a, several cards. So I wanted to share those cards with you. So here's one where I used, um, oh, this is Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Blackberry Bliss and these this leaf color, um, that could be soft succulent. It's a really pretty green and um, I just added that onto a card with the um, with the embossed background and the scalloped contours uh, die. I use this die on all of my cards today. So that's one sample. Then another one is this one, which has, um, I think, Flirty Flamingo Polished Pink and Early Espresso. And this is Old Olive again, I think. Does that look like it's the same? Yeah. So that's another pretty card. Then I have another one with um, Costa Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Pacific Point. And I think this is Granny Apple Green. I love the blues on this. This is that Misty Moonlight, which is a retiring in color. So if you like Misty Moonlight as much as I do, you need to go ahead and order anything that you want with that color. So that means you know, cardstock, um, ink pads, ink refills, markers, blends, any embellishments, anything that comes in Misty Moonlight. Um, Just Jade, Mag uh, Magenta Madness, Bumblebee. Um, there's another color, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, um, those end colors are, are retiring, so you need to order them as soon as you can. So that's another card. And this one I really like too. This one has, um, oh, uh, So Saffron and Bumblebee with the Early Espresso and then the I think that's uh, Grand Apple Green again, but isn't that pretty with all those bright colors in the background? I just love that. And then finally, I think this one's my favorite one. I used um, uh, uh, Poppy Parade Real Red and Cherry Cobbler for this flower. This one uses the, the Bumblebee and So Saffron and Early Espresso and the Bumblebee and So Saffron and Pumpkin Pie. And then this is Soft Sea Foam for these leaves. But isn't that a pretty card? I, I use that Hive and um, 3D embossing folder on there as well as the, the layer, uh, the scallop um, contours dies layer. But isn't that a pretty card? I love this card. I think this is a great wedding card. So anyway, one thing I want to share with you that I how I use my Stamparatus to create all of these flowers for all of these cards. And now I have another flower and leaf uh, stem that I can use to create another card. So again, this is using the, uh, what did I do with it here? It's the Art Gallery stamp set, which during the month, month of March in 2022 is an additional 20% off savings in the bundle, and it's a returning bundle. So thank you so much again for, for watching. I'll have all of the um, supplies that I used in this video linked in the description below. I hope you learned something new. I hope you'll take advantage of this sale. Love this sale, 20%. It's a really good sale. So happy shopping, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.